on company time. It's my anniversary. And I want it to be perfect. But that is not sexy. No, but it is utilitarian. And utilitarian is the new sexy. Rena Trace. First name Busem, last name Utsev. Any verifiable hits? One. Hey, Francis, do me a favor and stick that in the safe till tomorrow. Matahari here's got a big night tonight. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Sir. I'd like a sir to you. From head to toe. I'm surprised he didn't call you your majesty. I like the ring of that. I think I'd prefer your majesty. Was I ever that young? <laughs> Younger. Walk me out. How did the Oval Office briefing go? 
Well, you know, the usual. The president wants to know what's happening in Russia the day before it happens. I thought you heard that interview went well. Mm-hmm. Fingers crossed. You sure about this? You know, once you start pushing paper, there's no turning back. I had the strangest feeling when I was out last time. I was homesick. Homesick? Sir, did you take something for that? Sir! We got a walk in. A defector 10 minutes ago. Here? Guess he's not buying our cover. Did you get his bona fides? He's Russian. He says he's FSB, but won't give us any more. He's a strange guy. How's his English? Passable, not great. But if it got down to the subtleties of English nuance. Ted, Mike's gonna be waiting for me at home. Yeah, and I got a plane to catch. Come on, so no one can sort out of a nut job from the real thing faster than you. I got 25 minutes. I got 26. Let's go. husband must be a distraction for a female intelligence officer. Well, we're here to talk about you. So what is your name? My name is Alek Vasilyevich Grov. I have cancer. I'm moved. A defector with cancer. Are you selling secrets for chemo, or are you afraid of dying? If I have gained anything by damning myself, it is that I no longer have anything to fear. Russia is also dying. Oleg Vasily Orlov shows up in 1993 in Novosibirsk, Blast Siberia. He's on Victor Verzovsky's staff there. He checks out his FSB. Scan says he's truthful on the cancer. Prior to 93? Russia was once strong, Nothing. powerful, respected. It doesn't exist. And she will be again when things have been set back on the correct path. I have somewhere I need to be, Mr. Arlov. So if you wouldn't mind getting to the point. Я пришел сюда рассказать тебе одну историю. Мне не нравится история, но я все равно не слушаю и пожалуйста, не English, please. Others are listening. 1975, the Cold War. In the Grozny, a Soviet Olympic wrestler named Sasha Fyodorovich Chenko meets for the first time the only female chess grandmaster of her era, Anya Nurekia. Within a month, they were married, and within a year, a child. One month more, the child was back in the same hospital, sick with fever. And within days after that, the child suddenly was dead. Yes, a child was dead. And yes, a child was buried. But the Chenkov baby was alive. 
and became the property of another man. A master spy who had devised the greatest plan a Russian patriot could ever invent. A plan to destroy America. It had all started with an American named Lee Harvey Aswell. In 1959, he emigrated to Russia. Three years later, he returned home. But the man who came back to America was, in fact, a Russian spy named Alec. On November 22, 1963, Alec became the first success of the new program and a hero of the Soviet Union. The spy master was now given the go-ahead to create many more like Alec. Scores of agents, males and females, to be substituted for Americans. At an abandoned monastery, Chenkov and other boys and girls learned English long before they learned Russian. Drilled in idiom, idiosyncrasy and ideology and by methods of rigorous physical and psychological programming the spy master made warriors of iron unquestioning and unbreakable you're killing me man when does the good fairy come in no it's a story without hope Cherkov was matched with the child of a visiting American family there was an accident. The family died. Chenkov was sent to America to live a complete lie and to patiently await the day to attack from within. Day X. The long-awaited mission is here. Chenkov will travel to New York City to kill the president of Russia at the funeral of the American Vice President. Chenkov is K-A-12. K-A. Cold War legend. Highly trained Russian sleeper agents inserted into American society to sabotage and assassinate. Supposedly, they'd wait years to strike. Decades, even. I have been Supposedly. What's the matter, Ted? You don't believe in moles? Oh, well, I believe in moles, all right. Just not the boogeyman, especially if the plan is to kill their own president. This guy's selling smoke. Wrap it up, Ev. So, a Russian agent is going to kill the Russian president, is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, what would you like in return for that information? I simply wish to help you do what you need to do. Good. The KA program is brilliant bullshit. But I'm officially off duty, so you can tell the rest of your little story to one of my colleagues. So? Yes. The name of the Russian agent is Salt. Heavily Salt. My name is Evelyn Salt. Then you are a Russian spy. Truthful. So far, the fMRI scan registers truthful on everything he said. Ted. Call Protective Services and make sure oh, they find my husband. Where are you going? I need to get to the phone. No, no, no. Not after the neural scan. Because he didn't flutter? I yeah. beat that thing five times out of six. I am trained to, and so is he. I need my phone. I need to call my husband. Let me call my husband. Let me see it. There's a reason he mentioned my wedding ring to him. When they blow up a spy, they don't just blow up the cover. They blow up their whole cover life. You know that. Yeah. Do you remember what happened to Henley's wife? Yes, I do. Speak up. Honey, it's me. Please call me as soon as you get this. Okay, sweetheart, as soon as you get this. Godspeed, Comrade Chenko. 
So I'm going to interrogate that piece of shit. Someone who enjoys getting answers. Look, Ev, try to stay calm. I'm not a goddamn Russian spy. I didn't say you were. Let's go up to my office and we can sort this out. No, no, we gotta go to a secure location. Now. All right. Doesn't get any more secure than this. Ev, five minutes. Call Protective Services and tell them to find Mike. so far on the street. It's two minutes ago before we locked down. Anything clean on? I'm just going to match, sir. May Day, 1981. There's Brezhnev, and there... All off. That's him. He's to be a heavyweight once upon a time. Get that photo out now. Every ticket counter, airport, train station, taxi dispatcher, the whole nine yards. Get me direct from Metro on a secure line now. Yes, sir. Top right screen. Is that live? Yes, sir. Where's she going? Track her. Ring Petroleum Security. Yes, you have a woman to your left behind you. Evelyn Salt. We lost the vision. Where'd she go? Hey, Evelyn, can I Uh, No, I'm sorry. He left after lunch. Hey, happy anniversary, huh? Stairwell. Second floor. What's on that floor? It's empty. Security buffer. Isolated ceiling. Get her records to my handheld. This corridor. Thank 
interrogation room bring it up top arachnologist have, as such, enjoys pretty much unrestricted access to the borders of North Korea. So, brush up on your bugs and get to know him. He's the perfect cover to get us inside.
not here. No sign of the husband either. Did it ever occur to you that maybe that Russian was lying? Why'd she run? Oh, I don't know, but you were gonna lock her up? See it from her perspective. Maybe her husband isn't some real danger. Maybe, God forbid, sold us who she says she is. Maybe it's your department. Mine is catching her so we can find out. Protocol is clear. We bring her in or we bring her down. Do you have any idea who this woman is? What she's done for this country? Does that mean anything to you? Should it? Mama? No. You do me a favor? Yeah. Hey. You babysit Bert for me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's some money for food. What you doing? You doing homework? Nice to see you again. You talking to me? Yeah, I've seen you here before. Yeah, I do. I come here a lot. You? Oh, I'm working here. At the museum. I'm an arachnologist. A what? I hunt spiders.
goddamn lawyer, and everything she set up with her now has been to protect her company. But well, why don't you tell me how you really feel about it?
and I want to be with you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Okay. Welcome to New York, Mr. Hernandez. One night, a deluxe room. Yep. Mr. Hernandez, do you need any help with your luggage? No, nope. I got it. Thanks.
Mr. President. Mrs. Oates, Eleanor, Joe, Marissa, Don. After the president finishes the choir and sings, then Monte delivers the eulogy. If they don't raise anything here, it'd have to be pretty amazing. I knew he would bring more to the job than just his years of experience. As vice president, he showed the world the best of what it is to be in America. Today, the world says goodbye to a great man.
are calling the state-sponsored act of terrorism on the part of the U.S. These riots are sparking similar outbreaks of anti-American protests across Russia. We will strike back, says the new Russian president, angrily condemning today's assassination by American intelligence officer Evelyn Salt. Even as the body of slain President Medvedev is on its way back to Moscow, anti-American riots have erupted across Russia with bombings of U.S. diplomats' cars in Moscow. The Russian armed forces have been put on high alert. Responding to a rapidly escalating crisis, President Lewis has called for an emergency White House meeting with cabinet members, military leaders, and NATO representatives. Привет, Привет, comrade When I saw you in Washington, I almost raped you. supposed to get married, not unless it had great tactical advantage. I did it to seem normal. When you escaped today, I thought even I could not have hoped for so much. You are my greatest creation. You trained me well. Наша сестра воссоединилась с нами. Россия восстанет из пепла величайшей войны, которую видел мир. Мир услышит нас! Услышит! Добро пожаловать в нашу семью, сестра. Контакт 
закончим. У нас затишье на волнах. И вот хирша Меген, мой доктор.
the drill, Colonel. Shrapnel. A Serbian landmine. They've spent more time looking at it than the doctor did. Step through, please, sir. Turn around. Thank you. Patience is key. I've been coming here for two years. Others have been here even longer. What others? I don't know. But you were the best of us, and I was the least. There must be others here to finish what we begin. Mayor Chick. Pleasure. You'll have exactly two minutes to brief your NATO's point of view before the main meeting. Well, Ted, your Russian CIA agent, Saul. Let me tell us about her. We think she may be a Soviet plant. Certain years ago in preparation for something the KGB called Day X, a day that would mark the start of a large-scale strike against the U.S. and her allies. This should be the president now. You have a big job, Jenkov, but you can do it. You still haven't told me what your job is. Oh. I'm going home. Get the president! Get the president! Get the president! Get the president!
Sir, I think we need to seriously consider the possibility that today, right now, could be the start of day X. Mr. President, Director Medford is up. Marion, what's the situation? Should be coming up on one of your screens. What you see there represents temperature drops in mobile missile units in Siberia. It means the Russians are deploying their missiles to the field. And that's been confirmed on the ground, Mr. President. Mr. President, I strongly recommend that we go from DEFCON 4 to DEFCON 2, at least at our forward basis. Do it. And since the Russians have deployed, we need to look at our own nuclear attack options. It's not on the table. It's not a deterrent. Thanks, Marion. We'll come back to it.
Emergency action message. Released by... Pozdrawiaj, Tawryś Cienków. I sprawdzasz. Why didn't you tell me? Ja pytał, co? Mnogo raz. A ty no czustwo było moim towarzyszem. If you weren't with us in Russia, I would have remembered you. Ja był prototypu. Tawarysia Arlova Pierwinets. I teraz to moja czest pojęty w ataku. Proszę pasie. Selected attack targets acquired. Terror. Часть нашего плана убить 9 миллионов людей, разозлить миллиард мусульман, убить Америку до конца. came to Langley. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. Didn't think I'd be able to resist the temptation to say something. And you let my can well things change. Congratulations, Ed. You're about to become famous.
engage and couldn't kill the Russian president at point-blank range if she wanted to. Or you, for that matter. I could have killed you at the funeral, and I didn't. You surrendered to me because I gave you no choice. You know better. I had a choice. You know better. I'll kill them. 